Where are screwdrivers have shot to the top of my recommendation list the last couple of years? I haven't made a full video on these because I haven't been, I've been holding off to make my mind up fully on the design and functions. There's no point reviewing something like a screwdriver straight out of the box. Something like this you need to take it out of the field and really have a look at over time. Work out what you do like and what you don't like, if there's any kinks or any problems with it. So first and foremost about a screwdriver is how does it feel in your hand? And these, I think, are the perfect balance between bulk and feel. They, they sit in your hand nicely. The little ones aren't too little. The big ones aren't too big. And they, they sit and they stagger inside your tool bag at quite a nice rate so you're not taking up too much real estate. And that's one thing I do actually appreciate with them. Previously, I've bought screwdrivers based and put a lot of emphasis on the size of the handle. So I was a little bit hesitant when I got these, but it turned out perfectly fine. Now, there's no point in having a screwdriver if it doesn't engage the heads properly and rounds out the screws like there's no tomorrow. We reckon their laser tips are the way to go to solve this problem. They've got these little etched laser tips. They just look like a couple of like cross-hatching lines sort of thing. When I first got these screwdrivers, I paid zero attention to these tips. I figured they were just marketing wank or something like that. And I was actually quite wrong. Call it placebo effect, call me Shirley, but surely these tips hold. When you have a twist pressure on a screwdriver, and they don't always lock in and sometimes they actually pop out like the tapered edges on them. If you've got a bad screw, fastener, whatever, it actually helps push out and doesn't lock in. But again, call it placebo, I don't know but these don't sort of cam out like normal. That You can feel it when you're using them. The feature's distinctively there. And again, could be placebo, but you do feel it. Actually, we, we can test this. So I've got this, this block of wood here. It's uh, this big by this big. So you work that out. I've got my old recommendation for screwdrivers, which is the Barco Comfort Feel. These are great screwdrivers. I upgraded them because the, they were just melting and I just wanted to try something different. And both sides too, both pretty good condition. I don't know if the camera can zoom in very well on this, but now this is gonna be a bit of a weird one. I will put a little bit of pressure here just to stop the whole thing from rotating, but I've got this in there now. And I can pick up the whole there you go, slipped out. And now what we can do is we can actually spin this around and we can try this with the, uh, the Barco driver. Again, fits well. I've never had a problem, never felt a problem. This never felt odd, different, whatever. It always felt right when I was uh, using it. But it does, straight away it wants to pop out, but I don't want to do it any injustice. Again, holding it with this screwdriver, doing the works. It doesn't get it. Now, how good this works on different types of fasteners and stuff does matter. It's not gonna work real good on in every situation. This is something you do actually notice while you're using it. As I said, I wasn't sure there's a placebo effect or whatever, but you actually do feel it engage. And people that have borrowed one off me say, hey, I like that. And uh, we've had this whole combo that I'm having right now. But that was a good little test. I just happened to have this laying around. I've had no damage on these except for clear use and abuse damage here where I've been trying to jam it in somewhere where it's not supposed to be jammed into. And here, well I actually took to it with a drill bit by accident. It was behind a purling and I drilled into it. Um, short of having a full stainless steel screwdriver, I don't know how you're gonna uh, stop that sort of damage from happening. But the insulated screwdrivers, uh, the pack I got was a pack of seven, Phillips one and two, and then your different sizes, which actually leads me onto, now this isn't a groundbreaking thing or anything, but the, the size indications on the heads are very handy for in your tool bag. Like if you just want to grab a screwdriver straight away, you go, oh, what size of terminal am I working on? What am I doing? I know this is the exact size. 2.5 is gonna fit into all those 2.5 terminals all the way up to the 5.5. This could be a little bit bigger, but the sheer fact that I haven't snapped it yet means that it's pretty strong and it's doing the work. Posies, one and two, easy ID. So as we move down sizes in these insulated screwdrivers, 
the shaft gets smaller, which is handy, stops this sort of damage. The only one I've really had a conflict with this and getting in somewhere is the Phillips size too. There's some places, some electrical equipment, trying to keep the IP rating up. You need to be able to get in there with the Phillips too, but these don't appreciate the Phillips two lifestyle as much, I guess you could say. The first screwdriver I ever bought was this one. This is the Weira Compact Craft Form set. I really like it because you've got all your bits in your handle. These aren't etched like uh, these aren't etched like my insulated set, but they are good. I've had no problems. I haven't had them warp, mangle, or anything. I use this as my hardcore beta driver. Um, I've travelled around the world with this driver. Had no problems with it ever. Uh, I like that you can set it up for. Like if you've got a security bit set, you can put in your commonly used things. You don't have to carry around all these. I mean, I don't think I've ever used these two bits. I could if I wanted to, but I normally pair it with a set like this. Once you've added this, you can get into anything. This plus this, you're kicking goals. The little stubby, which is basically the craft form compact, but like more compact. So it, I got this as part of the advent calendar for 2020 which was a pretty good buy because I do really like this. Again, you can choose what you'd like. Currently, it's just the stock standard ones because I don't even change these out. I normally have that thing with me at all times. This hasn't seen a lot of use because it is a stubby and I only use a stubby when I really need a stubby. But the couple of times that I've pulled it out, I have been impressed and I enjoy using it. Again, when you couple this with this, there's no problems. You can get into anything, whatever stubby version. You're only about this far off the... You've got the clearance. The other set I bought, which this was the most expensive set, is the interchangeable insulated. So essentially, when this handle is the same size as the Phillips number one, but it gives you Phillips two, the same set, but with one handle. This actually breaks it down. You can take, I should have given this a clean up when I was giving anything else clean up. That bulk there becomes that bulk there. Now this is great. I love the space saving thing of this. Space saving is a big thing that comes like in my territory. I do like, like work for space saving. Uh, the release mechanism's good with it. So the release the mechanism is good with this. I like it. And I normally set this up for like a posi and normally just start using that or this will be my terminal driver, my full-time terminal driver. And then cheeky little stuff, I'll just spin this with my hand anyway. But I like to pair this, say, if I'm traveling overseas or something, I'll pair this with two of these. So I have like a couple standards, and then I'll have my everything else that I don't always use, because it's, it's always handy to have your, your terminal screwdriver on you at all times and, you know, you don't want to be messing around putting pieces in just for that one driver. So I normally have the good driver that I'm always using for my everyday go get stuff and have my driver that I use for other things. This is gonna really sum it up for my Wira screwdriver collection. I've held off making this video until I used them all and I can say after I've used them all, I'm extremely happy and I'm extremely impressed with everything that they've done for me. My old favorites were these Barcos, Comfort Feels. I went through maybe one terminal driver a year, two maybe. I was always replacing one of those, which that's another good thing about the Wira is you can order one singular. You don't have to buy a whole pack. I used to buy a whole packet of these to replace them. But yeah, my current recommendation for screwdrivers is the Wira standard set, especially if you're a Sparky. If, you, if you're not, you don't get the insulated ones, save yourself some money, a bit cheaper. Snuppy. I don't even know if they sell this. This came part as a kit, but I'm stoked to have this as part of my crew. And the interchangeable. This saves a lot of space. Well, that's it. I'm done harping on about these. I'm gonna get, get some more footage so I can overlay over the top, you know, and make it all look pro and special and nice and neat. I've not had a single complaint with these, except for the fact that I drilled this one, but that's my fault. Other than that, most of these I've been using for over a year. A couple of them only a few months now. But this I've only really been using for a few months. Hasn't seen the most work, but hasn't faulted me at all yet. 
this is a good couple of years of use. Just didn't feel like, you know, and this, I've had this for a couple of years now too. All holding up. Tried and tested in the field, all holding up. If you're like me and you didn't trust the Wira hype first to begin with, you can now. As always, thanks for watching.